Our consultations today provide a welcome opportunity to commence with the preparations for the next session of the BNC and to discuss the details in this regard as we proceed. Of course, dear Minister, I must state that uh, it is our desire to utilize the occasion of the 12th session of the BNC to enhance our bilateral cooperation and to nurture our historic bond of friendship for our shared future. My dear Excellency and dear sister, we're conscious that our countries, like others on the continent, have abundant natural and human resources which we should harness and develop for the benefit of all our people. We believe that the biggest challenge in this regard is the slow pace in building our manufacturing and industrial capacity at regional, national, and continental levels, and that Africa must do more in this regard. We believe Africa cannot continue to be the exporter of raw materials out of Africa. We need to work hard to build the capacity to enable us to trade and export value-added products. And we must do this within the continent of Africa and worldwide. We believe Africa's agreement on the African continental free trade area places us in a very important space to achieve this ambition. In this regard, Madam Minister, I wish to stress that South Africa is looking forward to working with our sister country, the DRC, in ensuring that we do achieve our industrialization and manufacturing objectives as we work together with the DRC assuming the chair of the African Union in 2021. We are keen to collaborate to ensure that uh, the DRC and South Africa advance the African Union's vision and development agenda of Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. Our country's excellency have achieved a great deal of progress in the past decade, and we would like to ensure that we proceed on this course in a positive manner in pursuit of peace, stability, and shared prosperity in Africa and within our countries. So as South Africa, we are fully committed to work within the Southern African Development Community, our organization, SADC, within the African Union, and with the international community, and particularly to do this work in our capacity as the guarantor of the Peace and Security Cooperation Framework whose purpose is to assist the DRC to achieve sustainable peace, security, and stability. And I wish to assure you, Excellency, of our commitment in this regard. My dear Sustained Minister, allow me to conclude by recognizing the continued role played by our women and men who are part of the SADC Force Intervention Brigade. They are working tirelessly side by side with their Congolese counterparts, as well as with the fellow MONUSCO brigades to fight against negative forces in some few parts of the DRC. And we support them fully in this work.